Okay. Yeah, so uh, again, thank you for coming. This is our first meetup. Uh, without your participation, this wouldn't be possible. And, uh, yeah. Um, so originally, uh, to start off with, law should govern. Uh, before we get into smart contracts, Ethereum, or uh, Bitcoin, I wanted to paint a very broad picture for you, uh, just to keep it in mind. Um, and that is the classical liberal ideal of rule of law and not of rule of man. Uh, essentially, uh, they were describing a neutral framework of rules enforced impartially and justly, uh, providing for co cooperation without vulnerability uh, that would protect individuals from each other while enabling them to cooperate with each other. Uh, the more man is in this equation, the less neutral this framework becomes. Uh, the more probable we have a chance of either a rule of man or rule by law. Uh, this is where the state, be uh, so this is where law becomes a tool for the state to suppress uh, in a legalistic fashion. Uh, I highlight this because the path we are taking here today uh, could literally le realize this rule of law ideal uh, more than anything the original classical liberals uh, could have possibly imagined. Uh, whilst at the same time reducing the transaction cost of doing business. Uh, the contract. Uh, the contract is a set of promises uh, agreed to in the meeting of the minds. Uh, it is the basic building block of our market economy. Uh, the original right of contract is a key means of enabling cooperation, uh, where almost any mutually acceptable arrangement could be made binding uh, with the law serving as a mutually trusted intermediary uh, for securing this arrangement. The, con uh, the concept of the contract has evolved uh, with our culture and it has now be been encoded into common law. Uh, despite the recent rise of the internet and electronic communications, uh, our institutions still take for granted that we live in a world of paper. We formulize our relationships with written contracts, written laws, and forms, of design, uh, forms designed for paper. Uh, and whilst these written contracts are highly evolved and capture the subtle intricacies of human relationships very well, they are costly to copy. Uh, not only that, they are passive and thereby costly to enforce. And uh, with written contracts, it is also cost, uh, costly to maintain a clear picture of past behavior of involved parties. Uh, which is essential for high levels of trust in formal relationships. I should also state that we can't just redesign uh, the existing systems overnight, especially in developed countries with formal laws. Um, it is much better suited to do it in our small communities uh, and also perhaps look at developing worlds um, who still have informal laws as they're more flexible and more malleable to put into uh, a new kind of contract. Uh, this is also because these contracts encode complex human relationships. Uh, however, we are entering a period where we must adapt to our new internet media. So, smart contracts were originally coined by Nick Zabo in 1993, uh, although the idea has been around since the, uh, the 70s. Um, so, what are smart, smart contracts? Well, essentially, uh, these smart contracts are contracts described in code, uh, where the terms of the contract are enforced by the logic of the prog program's execution. With smart contracts, oops, sorry, with smart contracts, the encoded rules themselves become the logic of their own enforcement. Uh, they are subject only to the honesty of the diverse market of co competing contract hosts, miners. Uh, they do not require judgment or skill of any specialists. Uh, this allows us to form a vastly stronger system of checks and balances in a trustless and decentralized manner. Smart contracts also gain the benefits of global transferability uh, without sacrificing any local knowledge. Uh, you can have a smart contract for Amsterdam and you could transfer it over to San Francisco uh, and it can be adapted there again. Uh, and you can do it for pretty much nothing. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Um, involved, uh, involved parties also gain the transparency of past behaviors, uh, 
provided by, in our case, the, the blockchain. Uh, smart contracts will dramatically reduce the cost of developing, maintaining, and securing our relationships. Uh, I should also state that smart contracts don't inherently make anything possible that was previously impossible, uh, but rather they allow you to solve the conflicts faster, uh, cheaper, and also with minimal trust. Uh, for the non-programmers out there, uh, there's an e-rights uh, site that uh, has a lot of uh, literature about smart contracts, uh, and they use the analogy of a board game. Uh, the players will design the rules of the game before they are willing to play, uh, and then once the rules are agreed on, uh, the game, the contract, will act as a board manager. This allows the players to move freely, but within the rules of the game. Most parties will not code their own customer contract either, uh, but instead it will probably be from, be from a pre-programmed template, uh, and they will just fill in the blanks. Um, of course, custom, uh, these cu contracts can also be customizable. Uh, they may have been contributed by earlier parties, uh, and they, they'll probably be created by uh, specialists, something like a, a lawyer slash programmer hybrid. Maybe. <laughs> That's a very interesting combination. Yeah, <laughs> very. So, uh, vending machines. Uh, vending machines are a common example of uh, a primitive uh, smart contract uh, in a lot of the literature out there. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with all of these, uh, but for those who aren't, uh, <laughs> a vending machine contract offers goods for currency uh, and does so by creating an inescapable uh, arrangement. Uh, this is by escrowing both drinks and payment uh, before dispensing either. That can be other goods as well. Uh, this inescapable arrangement re removes the reliance for the need of enforcement, uh, which we'll discuss in a second. Um, I should also note that coercion from the payer is also mitigated uh, by making the intrusion of the vending machine more costly than the contents of the, uh, the vending machine. So, uh, digital rights management. Interestingly enough, I couldn't really find a positive image for uh, DRM, uh, but I did find some interesting images from Defective by Design. Um, DRM can be thought of a smart, uh, as a smart contract, uh, albeit a, poor, a poorly designed one. Uh, it attempts to apply property concepts to a digital good. Uh, however, it is hard to implement a reliable mechanism uh, of scarcity on a digital good. Uh, Amazon Kindle and uh, closed ecosystems such as the Apple App Store have had much greater successes in implementing this, uh, though it is still not foolproof. Um, for designs like Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, scarcity has been robustly proven to work within its sphere of influence. Okay, enforcement. At this point, uh, for purely electronic assets, like fiat money and stocks, we have more or less uh, an adequate picture and have seen how these could work kind of work for physical assets, in the case of the vending machine. Uh, however, control of physical assets is uh, determined not by their title listing, uh, but by the consensus of the governing community, us. Uh, the state actually has an advantage here. Um, part of its legitimacy comes from the coercive force, it, and it can use this apparatus to enforce the outcomes that they claim are legitimate. Um, and for the foreseeable future, certain types of contracts that deal with externalities uh, will still require this kind of support. Uh, a, coercive a coercive recourse is uh, still possible, but the costs are great. <coughs> However, we can look at the internet ecosystem. Uh, it also has no inherent coercive enforceability. Internet businesses have been engaging in rich and rapid experimentation with cooperative arrangements that require no coercive recourse. The most common of these is reputation. Uh, a few independent studies have shown that the most common arrangements found online do not involve actual escrow, but instead use reputation feedback and credit. This has a similar logic uh, in that a participant effectively secures their good performance with the value of their reputation capital. Uh, these arrangements substantially reduce capital costs. Uh, however, they are messier, 
uh, but they are made more possible with the flexibility, uh, cheaper transaction costs, and automation that smart contracts provide. The subtleties of the natural language in written contracts. Smart contracts may be unable to express uh, the subtle written, richness of contracts written in the natural language. Uh, this can be viewed as both a curse and a blessing. Uh, regardless, it will lead to techniques for combining the, the two kinds of contract elements into split contracts. Uh, in this case, smart contracts could be used to cover well-defined portions of the agreements uh, and then reference written contracts for other portions more open to interpretation and coercive enforceability. Uh, Nick Zabo uh, states that uh, complex lawyer-written paper contracts May no, actually, may no longer actually represent the meeting of the minds. Uh, he argues that verbal agreements more plausibly uh, sorry, provide good sense of what each part, party jointly intends to agree to. Um, I'll say that again. He, agree, he argues that verbal agreements more plausibly provide a good sense of what each party jointly intends to agree to. Both parties have just had a rich conversational interaction full of conscious, subconscious cues uh, that we use to understand each other. The problem with these verbal agreements is our poor memories, in which people are turned to paper to record agreements. They trade away the richness and sincerity and vividness in order to get permanence. Zabo's proposal is, uh, sorry, Zabo's proposal is it to embed a video recording uh, of the verbal agreements uh, into the smart contract. Uh, we could do this with a hash reference and then back it up with the BitTorrent or something. So, after uh, I've been yammering on all about that, what is Ethereum? In short, Ethereum is a distributed computation platform for running smart contracts. Uh, it is the brainchild of uh, Vitalik Buterin and uh, grew out of Bitcoin-based smart contract projects, Colored Coins and MasterCoin. It is currently a highly experimental project and intends to encapsulate the proposals and lessons learned from the past five years of Bitcoin running, as well as expand on the original ideas of Satoshi Nakamoto. Um, Ethereum can be used to codify, decentralize, and secure and trade just about anything. Um, from voting domains, financial exchange, crowdfunding, company governance, intellectual property, and uh, even smart property. So what kind of contracts will we initially see coming out of Ethereum? Well, the first kind of contracts, uh, smart contracts we'll see will probably be financial instruments, uh, altcoins, and uh, ports of other experimental projects, such as Namecoin. The most noteworthy is Actus. Uh, it's a project by the Stevens Institute of Technology and uh, funded by the, Al uh, the Alfred Sloan Foundation. The goal of this project is to build a financial instrument reference database uh, that represents virtually all financial uh, contracts that link changes in risk uh, to cash flow obligations of financial contracts. Currently, this exists as 30 unique contracts. Uh, Charles Hoskin, uh, Hoskinson and the Ethereum team uh, have already been talking with uh, Dr. Willy Bramaritz, uh, exploring the possibility of having a single unified standard within the next year. Uh, if successful, Ethereum will be able to virtually represent any known financial instrument to date. Uh, looking further into the future, uh, we can see smart contracts embedded into the real world, controlling property. Uh, this allows property to be traded with radically less trust, uh, reducing fraud, mediation fees, and allowing trades to take place that otherwise would have never ha happened. Uh, primitive forms of smart property are already common. Um, as they already exist in hotels and uh, office locations. A room or workspace is controlled by a key card lock. Uh, the door checks uh, uh, to see if whether the user's key card is already valid and uh, either denies or allows entry, uh, depending on their contractual transaction. Um, immobilizers are another example of smart property. Uh, similar to hotels and offices, they uh, augment their physical key with a protocol exchange 
ensuring only holders of the correct cryptographic token can activate the engine. Uh, they have dramatically reduced car theft, for example. Uh, immobilizers are fitted around 45% of all cars in Australia, uh, but they only account for 70% of cars that are stolen. Uh, the shortcomings with these primitive smart properties is that the private key is usually itself held in a physical container and therefore can't easily be transferred or manipulated. A smart property changes this, allowing ownership to be intermediated by the distributed contract hosts or the Ethereum network. Ethereum is still a proof of concept stage, uh, but today, together we can build something truly remarkable, a sort of Bitcoin 2.0. Uh, I hope this talk has raised your understanding and outlined some of the benefits of smart contracts. And if not, uh, please follow these links for further reading. Uh, they're authored by much, uh, people much smarter than I am. And uh, Mike Hearn's got some really good talks as well. So I, I recommend checking it out. All right. Well, thank you very much for listening. Español, English, Deutsch. Normalmente produzco solo videos en inglés y español. Normally I produce only videos en English and Spanish. Normalerweise produciré ich nur videos en English and Spanish. Pero hoy voy a hacer otra excepción y traducirlo también en alemán. But today I make another exception and translate it into German too. Aber heute werde ich nochmal eine Ausnahme machen und es auch in Deutsch übersetzen. Ja, algunas semanas tengo escrito en mi lista de tareas por hacer de traducir el video hashtag BTC4. Now, already some weeks ago, I have written on my to-do list to translate the video BTC4, hashtag BTC4. Schon seit ein paar Wochen habe ich äh, auf meiner To-Do-Liste geschrieben, ähm, den Video BTC4 in Deutsch zu übersetzen. Estoy segura que esta idea puede ayudar a mucha gente económicamente. I'm sure that this can help many people economically. Ich bin sicher, dass diese Idee vielen Leuten uh, finanziell helfen kann. Y da motivación para aprender Bitcoin and give motivation to learn about Bitcoin. Und Motivation geben, um über Bitcoin zu lernen. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy bajo, económico. At the moment the price of Bitcoin is very low, economic. Im Moment ist der Preis von Bitcoin sehr tief. Sería el momento ideal para invertir. Hoy es el 15 de abril 2015. Would be the ideal moment to invest. Today is April 15th, 2015. Es wäre der ideale Moment zu investieren. Heute ist der 15. April 2015. El 27 de marzo 2015 he publicado en mi canal de YouTube Vanos Enigma el primer video sobre hashtag BTC4 explicando cómo me vino esta idea. On March 
27th of 2015. Um, I published my for the first video about hashtag BTC4 in my channel YouTube Vanus Enigma explaining how I got the idea. Am 27. März 2015 habe ich in meinem YouTube-Channel Vanus Enigma den ersten, den ersten Video über Hashtag BTC4 veröffentlicht und äh, erzählt, erklärt, wie ich diese Idee bekommen habe. La idea consiste principalmente en lo siguiente. The idea mainly consists in the following. Die idea besteht hauptsächlich in folgenden, folgendem. Imprimir en direcciones de Bitcoin en papel. Diez o mínimo diez o mejor cien. To print Bitcoin directions in paper, at least 10 or better 100. Bitcoin adressen in Papier ausdrucken, um, minimum 10 or besser gleich 100. Y luego poner en cada dirección de Bitcoin una pequeña cantidad de Bitcoin. And then put in every Bitcoin direction a little amount of Bitcoin. Und dann in jede Bitcoin Adresse eine kleine Summe von Bitcoin transferieren. Y la próxima vez, cuando otra vez ves una persona por la calle pidiendo dinero, and the next time uh, you see again a person begging for money on the street. Und das nächste Mal, wenn du wieder eine Person auf der Straße betteln siehst. Y para tus amigos y amigas. And for your friends, of course. Und für deine Freunde natürlich. O tal vez eh, de propina en un restaurante. Or maybe a tip in a restaurant. Oder trinkgeld im restaurant. Bueno, a la hora de imprimir también copiar y guardar las llaves privadas de Bitcoin. De direcciones de Bitcoin. When you print the Bitcoin addresses, um, copy and save the private keys of the Bitcoin addresses, of course. Wenn man die Bitcoin Adressen druckt, auch die, uh, auch die privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Address Schlüsseln, um, kopieren und speichern. Y a la hora de distribuir las direcciones de Bitcoin, escribir la fecha, por ejemplo, hoy es el 15 de abril 2015, escribir la fecha más plus cuatro años, uh, igual 15 de abril 2019. And then in the moment when you distribute uh, the Bitcoin addresses, you write the date, for example, today, April 15th, 2015, plus, plus four years uh, is April 15th, 2019. Und dann in dem Moment, wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen verteilt, auf das Papier schreiben, das heutige Datum, zum Beispiel 15. April 2015, plus vier Jahre, 
ist gleich 15.04.2019. Luego vas a explicar a la gente, mira, esta es la llave privada. Tú y yo la tengo, la tienes. Si no quitas, transfieres este dinero de Bitcoin, eh, en estos cuatro años yo lo vuelvo a tener. Tener o sacar. Then you explain to the people, look, this is the private key. I have it and you have it. If you don't take this money, Bitcoin, out of this account, I will take it out in, this, um, in these four years, at the end of these four years. Und dann erklärst du den Leuten, schau, das ist der private Schlüssel. Um, ich und du haben diesen privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin-Schlüssel. Wenn du äh, bis Ende dieser vier Jahre das Geld Bitcoin nicht raus tust, transfer, äh, dann hole ich es zurück. De esta forma das más motivación a la gente para empezar a aprender cómo funciona Bitcoin. This way, you give more motivation to the people to learn how the technology of Bitcoin functions. Auf diese Weise gibst du mehr Motivation den Leuten zu lernen, wie die Technologie von Bitcoin funktioniert. En mi video antiguo he explicado uh, cómo he tomado la decisión de los cuatro años. In my old video, I explained how I made the decision for the four years. In meinem original video habe ich erklärt, wie ich zu die Entscheidung getroffen habe uh, mit den vier Jahren. A continuación voy a pegar este video. Now, later, I will paste this video. Im Anschluss werde ich diesen Video ankleben. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy económico. Uh, at the moment the price of Bitcoin is very cheap. Pero casi todo el mundo tiene muy poco dinero para invertir. But almost everybody has a very little money to invest. Debería decir que esta idea me vino hoy especialmente cuando vi otra vez una chica ahí pidiendo dinero por la calle. Actually, I must say first this idea today I got especially when I saw again um, one girl begging for money in the streets. Me gustaría ayudar, pero yo tampoco me sobra mucho el dinero. I would really like to help everybody, but I, I don't have either too much money. And así que me vino la siguiente idea. So I got the following idea. It's, uh, it's más bien un juego. Uh, it's uh, rather a game. Um, lo que es muy importante elegir un monedero de Bitcoin que solo tú mismo misma, tienes la llave privada. What is very important to choose um, Bitcoin wallet a company which you only possess the private key. For example, uh, blockchain.info. Por ejemplo, la empresa 
blockchain.info. Luego imprimir en papel um, la llave privada y también guardarlo tú mismo. Then to print in paper the private key and uh, of course save for, for yourself that private key. Bueno, ya estamos imprimiendo, imprime por lo menos 10. So now we are already printing, so at least print 10 directions, 10 direcciones. Luego pones algo de Bitcoin, una cantidad, lo que, lo que te da la gana en esta dirección. Then you put some Bitcoin, uh, the amount, whatever you want, and that in these directions. Y la próxima vez que sales de casa ya tienes algo que dar a los que están ahí pidiendo por la calle. And the next time you go out of the house, you have already something to give for these people who are begging on the streets. Y por ejemplo, y claro, para tus amigos, amigas, and for your friends, of course. Eso da motivación a la gente para aprender Bitcoin y Uh, this gives motivation for the people to learn about Bitcoin. Y la parte del juego consiste en lo siguiente. And the game part uh, consists in the following. Explicas a la gente, mira, esta es la cl clave privada, que es la clave secreta. You explain to the people, look, this is the private key, which must be secret. And uh, you have it and uh, me. And uh, explicas, esa persona y yo mismo la tiene. Y antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié un poco de idea de hasta cuatro años. First, I thought of five years, but then I changed uh, my opinion to four years. Later, explain. Después, lo expli explico por qué. Les dices, mira, tienes cuatro años para poner esta cantidad de Bitcoin a otra dirección. Si no lo, lo has quitado después de cuatro años, yo lo quito. So you explain them, you have four years to take this Bitcoin out of this direction, of this secret uh, key direction. If uh, you don't do it, uh, I do it after these four years. So you lose this. That's the, this part of the game. Es la parte del juego. He creado este hashtag uh, BTC4 para hacerlo un poco popular. I created this hashtag BTC4 to make it a little popular. Antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié a cuatro porque te has dado cuenta que en los Simpsons la gente tiene cuatro dedos. Y Solo do, Dios tiene cinco dedos. Um, first, I thought of five years, but then I changed my mind to four years. Um, did you notice that in The Simpsons, people have a four fingers and only God has five fingers. Uh, I'll show some pictures. Voy a enseñar algunos imágenes de los Simpsons. De los manos y dedos de Simpsons. Some pictures of the hands and fingers of Simpsons. 
Uh, pero antes quiero recordar que um, es muy probable que en también cuatro o cinco en los próximos años el valor de Bitcoin puede subir mucho. Just want to remember before that uh, the price of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can rise very much in these next years. Así que si solo pones una cantidad pequeña más tarde, puede ser de gran ayuda. Even if you just put a little small amount later, it can be big help. Uh, no solo para, bueno, es un juego. <laughs> si la persona lo quita antes de cuatro años, para, es para esta persona. Si no, es para ti. Si te recuerdas y guardas bien la llave privada. So, uh, it's, this is the game part. If uh, the, the person takes the money out, it's for that person. But if they forget it after these four years, you can take it out and it can be really... <laughs> bueno, imprimir también la llave pública y la llave privada. Y si, por ejemplo... Okay, first translate. Print and not just the private key, but on also the public key. Así que si, por ejemplo, explicas a la gente. Mira, si alguna persona quiere enviarte Bitcoin, pero tú no tienes ninguna dirección, así que puedes dar este, esta llave pública a la persona. Mira, muy bien, la llave pública, no la llave secreta das a esa persona o cualquier persona y te pueden enviar Bitcoin a esa dirección. So, remember, uh, the public key you can give to anybody and if somebody wants to send you some Bitcoin and, you, and this person doesn't have any, so you have already this public address where they can send you Bitcoin. ¿Qué es Bitcoin? Bitcoin es la primera moneda digital descentralizada. Los Bitcoins son monedas digitales que puedes enviar a través de Internet. Comparado con otras alternativas, Bitcoin tiene numerosas ventajas. Los Bitcoins son transferidos directamente de persona a persona a través de la red sin pasar por un banco u otro intermediario. Esto significa que las comisiones son mucho menores, puedes usarlo en cualquier país, tu cuenta no puede ser congelada y no hay prerequisitos o límites arbitrarios. Miremos cómo funciona. Los bitcoins son generados en todo internet por cualquiera con un programa gratuito llamado Minero de Bitcoin. Crear bitcoins requiere una cierta cantidad de trabajo para cada bloque de monedas. Esta cantidad se ajusta automáticamente por la red, para que los bitcoins siempre sean creados a un ratio predecible y limitado. Tus bitcoins se guardan en tu billetera digital, que te resultará familiar si usas banca digital. Cuando transfieres bitcoins, una firma electrónica es añadida. Pasados unos minutos, la transacción es verificada por el minero y es almacenada permanente y anónimamente por la red. El software de Bitcoin es completamente abierto y cualquiera puede revisar el código. Bitcoin está cambiando las finanzas de la misma manera que la web ha cambiado el periodismo. Cuando cualquiera tiene acceso al mercado global, florecen grandes ideas. Miremos algunos ejemplos de cómo los Bitcoins están usándose hoy en día. Puedes comprar videojuegos, regalos, libros, servidores y calcetines de alpaca. Existen varias casas de cambio donde puedes intercambiar tus bitcoins por dólares, euros y más. Los bitcoins son una gran forma para que pequeños negocios y autónomos reciban publicidad. No cuesta nada empezar a aceptarlos, no hay cargos o comisiones y recibirás negocio adicional de la economía bitcoin. Para tus primeros bitcoins y más información visita weusecoins.com Bueno, ahora voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los dedos de Simpsons. Now I'll show you some pictures of the fingers of Simpson. The four fingers, los cuatro dedos y cinco dedos de Dios. The four fingers and five fingers of God of Simpsons.
13th of March. Right now, there are more people on the internet than there were on the planet in 1960. You're raising money. And it's easier to be discovered than ever before. It takes a full team to make each one of our videos. But the internet needs better software to help us reward one another for our work. Advertisers value you differently. They say that 1,000 of you is only worth $6. Any help is very much appreciated. Please fund this project. We need your help. and historic, opposed to secret society, secret oaths, and a secret proceedings. We decided long ago the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment. A pertinent fact far outweighs the dangers which are cited to justify it. Face the facts, join our hands, make a stand. Uh -huh. It's time to gather plans, get the shot, take the chance. Till there is no one left, stay correct to the death. They can't ever break a freedom, we will never let it. The corrupt politics is killing the system. Cynicism is it, and it's everything that you witness. They tell you what to think, make you believe that they're the realness. They feed us full of lies, and yet we always forgive them. Huh? It's all conspiracy, and if you feed an inner witch, you're the puppet. The government's pulling strings from above you. It's time for the introduction to truth, and let's start a movement. We've all been brainwashed, they believe that we all are stupid. We believe in what we see, and whatever our ears are hearing. But if you look close, listen, gather your own opinion, you'll understand all the lies, lines, and what's between them. This world is not your oyster, this world is a fucking prison. Come on! happening in our nation. No one will stand up for the fear of assassination. So they strip us of everything. We stand there and just take it. We're scared to make a stand a false flag operation. Research Illuminati. Find out by 9-11. You see they line their pockets. Don't believe the lies they tell us. Find us seek the truth. Realize we need to do whatever it is we can to protect our livelihood. It's time for us to do when the conspiracy or not. They owe some explanations to the questions that we got. What are the skull and bones? What is lying beneath all these secretive means? Got you lying between your teeth. What's with the Bilderberg? I'm burning your effigies. I'm praying a Lucifer. How sickness can you be? While all of the time praying you believing in the peace. Just to keep up appearances within Christianity. Come on. Try to shut us down. 
down or turn around, let us storm them. We got the warnings, let us march from the morning through the night. We gon' fight and close the eye and overthrow all these damn secret societies. Why we gotta stand for the new world proprieties? The evidence is clear, we're naive to the lies. Illuminati wolves kill the sheep in the night.